Welcome to the third edition of What on Earth? And this time we're asking, what on earth is surface mass balance? Now surface mass balance is a really simple mathematical concept and we use it to understand whether bodies of ice, like ice sheets, ice shelves or glaciers, are growing or shrinking. Now we add together all the inputs that go into the ice and all the outputs, we take those away. If what we have at the end is a positive number, then that ice sheet is growing. If on the flip side we have a negative number, then the ice sheet is shrinking. When we think about inputs, you can summarise them in the word accumulation. And this is comprised mostly of precipitation. Of course in the polar regions or in very high cold mountain regions, this is mostly going to be snowfall. But you can occasionally get liquid precipitation too. Now the outputs we call ablation. And this encompasses a whole bunch of different processes. For ice shelves specifically, we have a process called iceberg carving. And this is where big chunks of ice will break away from the main ice shelf into icebergs. And this is a natural part of the growth cycle of ice shelves. Then we've got a process that is universal to ice shelves, ice sheets and glaciers. Sublimation. So this is where ice goes directly from the solid ice phase straight into the atmosphere as water vapour. So you skip out the middleman and it doesn't go into liquid first. When the temperatures are high enough, we can get surface melting. And surface meltwater can collect into gigantic lakes and ponds. The fate of that meltwater depends a little bit on what kind of ice we're talking about. On ice shelves, it can trickle into existing cracks and rifts and contribute to cracking of the ice shelf. On glaciers, this meltwater can actually run off the glacier entirely and this is something that's really important for water resources. We can also get melting from below, which we call basal melting, so melting from the base. This is something that's occurring a lot in West Antarctica. So basal melting in the Thwaites and Pine Island glaciers is thought to be responsible for a vastly accelerated melt rate there. Surface mass balance is a concept we can use every day to understand the rate of climate change and of sea level rise. In Greenland at the moment, temperatures are extraordinarily high, and this is a result of warm air being moved up from the African continent all the way up to the Arctic, something that we also experienced in Europe as a heat wave in July 2019. Unusually high temperatures have accelerated the rate of surface melting that we would usually see in the summer. On one day, 12 billion tonnes of meltwater were produced, enough to raise global sea levels by a detectable amount of 0.11 millimetres. Now, all of this surface melting, of course, is contributing to a negative surface mass balance. So you can see how surface mass balance is used to understand the changes to sea level that we're observing every day. So there we go. That's the surface mass balance. A balance between, on the one hand, accumulation, and on the other hand, ablation. A great way of understanding whether ice sheets, ice shelves, or glaciers are growing or shrinking.